Hi guys, today we are going to continue our series on art and culture. So our today's topic is Indian painting. So what is painting? Painting is, uh, painting is used to express our feelings, thoughts, and the event happened in past and ongoing events or future events. In place of the texture or uh, words, sometimes we will use a painting. So painting is known to human being since a prehistorical age that is uh, around uh, um, 10,000 before century. First uh, evidence of the painting has been founded in Bhimkhet Caves in Madhya Pradesh that is in Stone Age period. So after Stone Age uh, period, uh, the Monal painting and miniature painting has been started which is founded in many of the uh, Indian uh, Hindu temples as well as in caves. So difference between Monal and miniature painting is in Monal painting there is no uh, limit, size limit and it's, it is normally founded in either wall and ceiling of the uh, temple or caves and miniature painting is founded also in wall or caves as well as in um, drawn on uh, papers not papers leaves uh, bamboo leaves uh, palm leaves uh, and on hard surface materials apart from the miniature and minimal painting some regional school of painting also be started in this period uh, until uh, modern age painting in modern age, age painting due to the influence of uh, um, Europeans uh, sketch uh, pencil pen pencil started using and the paint has been drawn in very finite and with the minute details and apart from the modern painting folk painting is also consider considered as a one kind of painting which is uh, related to painting related to the uh, daily activities happening uh, around our life. So we will discuss about each and every method of painting or school of painting in details. Prior to that we will see uh, what are the major source of the painting. So if you see the uh, see mm, uh, uh, if you want to know the source of painting about the prehistoric painting and Munal painting are normally found in many caves uh, temples such as such as Aj Ajanta caves, uh, Kailashna temple Elora caves <coughs> and miniature painting is founded in our Puranas Vishnu Purana, Padma Purana and other Purana including uh, majorly in Vasayana Kama Sutra and Mudra Rakshasa many miniature painting has been founded for the period of uh, Puranic era and Mug um, Mauryan period Normally painting, uh, miniature painting is classified into two categories that is Lapia Chitra and Lekha Chitra. In Lapia Chitra, uh, our mythologic, mythological story along with the texture has been, uh, has been uh, written and in Lekha Chitra, the drawing and sketches are telling the story means uh, drawing and sketches, sketches are made in such a way that it will s tell the complete story happened in our past. So, uh, uh, so now we we'll let's move on to the uh, each and every of this style of painting in detail. So let's start with prehistorical painting. <laughs> prehistorical painting is the earliest painting is normally f uh, is founded in Madhya Pradesh Bhimkhet Caves is around uh, uh, 10,000 before century older painting. Uh, in this painting the mix uh, common minerals uh, or uh, geru has been mixed with the lime and water as a minerals as a pigment to paint and normally red white yellow and green color has been used and particular red color has been used to denote the man and uh, green color has been uh, used to denote dancing girls and the main themes of this painting is the animals such as tiger elephant uh, and Reno. After the prehistorical painting, uh, we will uh, the next phase of painting is Mesolithic period painting that will come around uh, between 9000 to 10,000 before century. And in this the in this pain, uh, style of painting, themes got increased from earlier uh, uh, period of painting. 
the theme such as group hunting grazing and riding of the horse and other animals has been evidenced in this kind of painting and the size of this painting has been reduced uh, as compared to other uh, previous uh, prehistorical painting <coughs> the major site where uh, Mos mesolithical period painting has been founded are bimkate caves and lukidiara rock painting after the mesolithical period painting let's discuss about chalcolithical period painting <coughs> In this painting, the themes of the Mesolithical period painting has been increased to battle preparedness and battle uh, uh, preparedness along with the uh, uh, way of the battle. And including uh, house uh, horse riding, elephant riding has been added in Chalcolithical painting as compared to Mesolithical painting. And use of the green and yellow paint, uh, paint has been increased in Chalcolithical painting. And one more features found in this kind of painting as compared to other previous painting is spiral circle geometrical shapes has been founded in this painting and the major site of this painting are Narsinghar in Madhya Pradesh, Jogimara Caves, Ghodsar and Kahabaur rock art in Chhattisgarh, Chinese figure riding a donkey in Chitwa Dongri, Godhandi rock shelter, Yogimat rock shelter in Odisha are the famous uh, Chalcolithical period painting sites. So after we will move on to Nunal and mini miniature painting. After this uh, stone age period uh, around uh, Indus in uh, Indus Valley civilization that is around 4500 BC Nunal painting has been started and uh, around uh, 2500 BC miniature painting has been started. We will discuss each and every painting in detail. In Munal painting, uh, in prehistorical painting, that is in Stone Age period painting, uh, the people was used to draw a paint uh, of the themes uh, with hunting uh, uh, animals, uh, but there is no particular mean, shape and size of the animal figure or human figure which ha has been uh, started from Nunal painting. Uh, okay, and uh, we will discuss each and every uh, sites of the Nunal, major important site of the Nunal painting. The first one is Ajanta cave painting in founded in Maharashtra is the one of the oldest survival um, Nunal painting site which was been drawn around uh, to second century BC to fifth to sixth century after decades. Uh, Totally 29 caves have been founded of period of Maurya, Gupta and Shunga dynasty period and Ajanta caves, Nunal as well as fresco painting has been founded. So one of the major unique uh, ness of this uh, uh, Ajanta cave was here female fig figure has been founded which was not drawn to anywhere else prior to this. And the major themes of the Ajanta cave painting is related to Jataka story of uh, Buddha and life of Buddha and important painting founded in Ajanta Caves are Padmapani painting, Vajrapani painting, Manchuri painting and Jataka stories along with Apsara painting and Dying Princess painting founded in cave number 16. Next important Nunal painting site is the Ellora cave of painting which is also found in Maharashtra. There are mainly five caves are founded in Maharashtra. Among them Kailasna temple is one of the major uh, site uh, where um, we will f find a beautiful pictures of the goddess and god uh, on the ceiling and wall of the sites. One of the uh, major important features of this uh, Ellora cave painting is uh, painting has been made on the rectangular panel with a thick border and uh, the Munal painting were done in the two faces. Uh, what, what do you mean by two faces? In earlier uh, where, where we studied uh, in Ajanta caves and Bhimkate caves, uh, the painting was drawn after the polishing of the wall but in the two phase of painting uh, the first uh, uh, the first painting uh, on the first painting the polishing uh, was been done above that second painting has been drawn and the first painting in this 
the first painting was done uh, carried out during the carving of the caves then after some few centuries uh, second painting has been done and the painting has been uh, belongs to all three religions such as buddhism jainism and hinduism next important size is uh, site is bhaga cave painting site founded in madhya pradesh it is extension of ajanta cave in madhya pradesh it is similar in design execution and decoration of the ajanta cave painting but it is secular in nature belongs to only one religious and one of the unique feature of this painting is that the figure are more more tightly modeled here and stronger outline is provided in ajant in bhaga cave painting after the next site is the uh, alma malai cave painting founded in tamil nadu is belongs to jaina temple of painting here the story of jaina religious and tales of the jainism has been drawn this temple uh, this painting is belongs to 8th century and uh, both north indian and south indian uh, style of painting has been founded in this alamalai cave painting next one is sitanavasal cave painting founded in tamil nadu it is drawn between 1 century century to 10th century uh, century period and it is uh, belongs to jain temple and many of the jain uh, tales has been drawn in wall and ceiling of this uh, temple uh, of caves and the major themes of this uh, major themes of the uh, this sita uh, sitanavasal cave painting is the lotus pool birds buffalo are also founded here which is unique as compared to other cave painting the next uh, cave painting which uh, is important are the ravan chaya cave pe- rock shelter painting so rock shelter is nothing but a umbrella shape uh, half umbrella shape it is like a dome kind of things inside the, uh, this um, the painting has been done on the bottom uh, bottom of the dome and this uh, painting is particularly belongs to the chola uh, dhyanasti painting uh, founded uh, with the timeline of uh, 5th to 9th century bc and the major theme of this painting are the royal uh, court yard uh, court uh, related paintings next important site is lapakshi temple founded in andhra pradesh uh, in lapakshi virabhadra temple uh, is having the major p- painting on its wall which is belongs to vijayanagara period of painting uh, promoted by achutaraya the king of vijayanagara dynasty Uh, major theme of this painting are ramayana mahabharata and uh, puranic story of uh, story about incarnation of the vishnu in this painting the background color is majorly black uh, and red color has been used to uh, denote the figure uh, the next uh, cave painting is jogi mara cave painting which is uh, pre uh, pre buddhist cave painting it is one of the oldest cave painting founded in india uh, it is uh, painted around 10000 before century and the one of the unique feature of this painting uh, is this cave painting is the brahmi script had has been founded along with the paints this is unique as compared to other sites and the major themes of this painting are dancing couple animals elephant and fish has been founded and white color along with red and black and yellow has been used in jogi mara cave painting the next uh, important site is badami cave temple founded in karnataka one of the earliest hindu survival cave temple uh, the painting has been drawn around 7 to 6 century and the famous painting is the four arm Br- brahma is founded in cave number 3 badami cave temple uh, painting is also a unesco heritage site these are the major important zonal painting sites founded in india next one is a miniature painting so what is mean by miniature miniature means a small and detailed painting so in the miniature painting it it is below 25 inch of the painting 
there are ma many uh, transition has happened in miniature painting so let's discuss with the early miniature painting in early mi miniature pala school of painting and upper brahma school of painting are the famous one in the pala school of painting uh, is uh, is in prevalent um, between 750 century to middle of the 12th century and Pala school of painting is completely related to Buddhism and the centers such as Nalanda and Vikramashila are the uh, major center of this kind of painting. Pa in Pala school of painting, palm leaves and uh, bamboo leaves, bamboo uh, uh, trees has been used uh, to make the painting. Next one is the uh, Upper Brahma school of painting. This is uh, related to uh, related to Jainism school of painting, and it is particularly prevalent in Gujarat, Rajasthan, and Malwa region, and mainly patronized by Chalukya Dynasty of Gujarat. And uh, this kind of painting has been uh, made on palm leaves and also in paper. Uh, so mm. some of the example of this kind of pa painting is Kalpa Sutra and Kalakacharya Katha are one of uh, are the major popular uh, kind of the Upper Brahma school of painting. Uh, in both Upper Brahma and Pala school of painting, uh, painting along with the uh, texture or story uh, texture which is telling the story of the painting is prevalent. So after 12th century, uh, when the our miniature school of painting has been come in contact with Persians as well as Dravidians, the style of painting has been uh, changed uh, and it is divided into two styles of painting. One is Islamic style of painting, that is Indian style of painting when c come in contact with the uh, Persian style of painting and second one the Dravidian style of painting where the Indian style of painting is come in contact with Dravidian style of painting. So first we will discuss about miniature art painting during Islamic period. Uh, after the uh, uh, advent of the Mughal uh, Muhammad Ghori, um, uh, Delhi Sultanate has been established in Delhi and uh, Persian style of painting come in fusion with the Indian style of painting. It is a particular uh, particularly founded in Nizamat Nama, ni Nimat, Nimat Nama uh, the book in the regime of Nasir Shah. After the Delhi Sultanate, uh, the Persian style of painting has been promoted by Mughal Emperor. Uh, the first Mughal Emperor who promoted the uh, Persian miniature painting is our, um, Akbar. In Akbar period, Akbar has been uh, uh, developed, uh, means uh, Akbar created an entire uh, different department for painting and giving the regu regular salary and awards to the painters. The important painters during the Akbar regimes are Mi Sayyad Ali, Khwaja Abda Samad, Baswan Daswant and Kesudas. In the Akbar, uh, Akbar period of um, time, uh, Mughal uh, era miniature painting ha has been recognized as an Indian uh, miniature painting. Uh, 3D uh, painting technique techniques also used in time of Akbar regime. The important uh, art uh, done uh, during the Akbar uh, regime period is Tutinama, Hamz uh, Anware, Suhaliya and Hamza Nama. After Akbar, Jahangir was the emperor of Mughal, uh, Mughal and during the Jahangir period, Ustad Mansur was a famous painter and we also consider it as a golden period of painting during Jahangir period because Jahangir himself was uh, one of the greatest painting and he has his private workshop to make a painting and he's created a different department to promote a painting named Ayar I, I Danish. After Jahangir, Shah Jana became the emperor of the Mughal. Em Mughal. Uh, during this regime, Muhammad Na Nadir Shah and Mir Hussain are the famous painters. Uh, but uh, during the Shah Jahan period, uh, the lively, uh, liveliness of the painting has been started reducing and it ended during the Aurangzeb period. And, uh, and 
European influence also started uh, from Shah Jahan period. That is by using pencils such as gold, silver has been started. After Mughal, uh, along with this uh, Persian style of painting, so in uh, in South India, Dravidian style of painting is famous. In that, Tanjore painting and Mysore pa painting are the two famous. In Tanjore painting, special decorative painting has been made, uh, created on glass and wooden flank. In this, brilliant, uh, brilliantly colors and gold has been used, and it is. Mm, uh, patronized by Maharashtra and uh, Tanjavur uh, kings and in uh, second one is a Mysore painting in Mysore painting Hindu god and goddess has been painted painted and it is prevalent in Karnataka uh, and Tamil Nadu region along with this uh, Dravidian style of uh, miniature painting and Persian style of miniature painting. Some of the regional uh, miniature painting also is prevalent. Among them, the first one will be Ma Mewa school of painting. In this, uh, the main themes of this pa painting is Ramayana, Bhagavad Purana, Rangamal was the major themes of painting and it is one kind of the secular kind of painting. The second one, second school is the Ajme Amber Jaipur school of painting. This is uh, uh, patronized by Savai Pratap Singh and is, it is also called a Dhundar school of painting. In this painting, palace wall and armed police, uh, arm force has been shown in this painting. This painting is prevent, uh, prevalent in Rajasthan region. And the main theme of this uh, painting is Bhagavad Puran, Ramayana and Ramalila. Uh, next one is the Meva school of painting. It is uh, promoted by Man Singh. And uh, uh, this kind of painting is particularly founded in regions, regions surrounding Jodhpur and Bekenhar. Uh, this kind of painting is normally uh, drawn on colorful clothing with the theme of Shiva Puran, Durga Charitra, Nata Charitra and the next uh, school of painting is Kishangar school of painting. Uh, this painting is uh, particularly uh, dedicated to Radha Krishna love and devotional story. Okay. The next school of painting is Bundi school of painting which is also dedicated to Radha, uh, Radha Krishna love story. Next one is Kathak. It is similar to Bundi school of painting. Along with the regional painting, uh, there is one, one more school of painting is prevalent that is Pahari school of painting. In the Pahari school of painting, we will found a two uh, fourth stage of painting. First one is Boso Bosoli school of painting, second is Gulay school of painting, third one is Kangra school of painting and fourth one is Kulumandi school of painting. Uh, all these four uh, are the implement in previous uh, school of painting. That is Bosoli school of painting has been improved into Gulay school of painting and Kangra school of painting is the improvement of Gulay school of painting and Kulumandi school of painting is improvement of the Kangra school of painting. Uh, next uh, we will discuss about modern school of painting uh, and folks painting. Let's uh, uh, start with the modern Indian painting. So if we go to the modern uh, when, uh, when uh, Europeans such as France, uh, Dutch, English people came into India and uh, come in contact with Indian people. Uh, the uh, use of pencil and other material has been started in painting and it influenced the making of painting into different style. So uh, the, this painting has been some of the common feature of Indian painting along with the Western pa painting. So this painting has been divided into uh, three category mainly first one is company painting it is completely influenced of the Europeans that is English people and watercolor has been used in this kind of painting and it is originated in Calcutta, Chennai, Delhi, Patna, Varanasi and Tanjavur such kind of city where most of the European people are living and the Ghulam Ali Khan and Mazhar Ali Khan are the famous painter the company style of painting Next one is Bazaar painting. This has an influence of European as well as Roman and Greek. 
This is prevalent in Bengal and Bihar region. In this painting, Indian Baja has been shown the, with the European background. Sir. The next one is the Bengal school of painting. It is also called as a revolution school of painting because in this by this painting, Ravina Tagore and Nandalal Bose uh, described the condition of the Indian during British period and um, help uh, uh, Indian nationalists to, to uh, create their thought and passes message to masses about the Indian national movement. The one of the famous uh, this help a lot in Swadeshi movement this painting so one of the important uh, painting uh, in Bengal school of painting is the Bharat Mata painting uh, next uh, one is a I believe that you uh, people uh, know about the Raja Ravi Varma Raja Ravi Varma is also called as the father of modern painting he is uh, using both Indian and European style in painting uh. as well as in color making. So uh, his painting Lady in Moonlight is a famous all around the world and uh, one of the highest selling prize painting in the world. Uh, his other painting are Shakuntala, Damayanti and Swan. So now let's move on to the folk painting. So. Uh, Among the folk painting, Madhubani painting is one of the famous folk painting which is founded uh, surrounding the Mithila region in Bihar. It is a two dimensional painting particularly, particularly <coughs> dedicated to Hindu religion and symbols such as fish uh, and uh, stars has been used for good luck and fertility and natural objects such as sun, moon, stars also has been used in this kind of painting. One more unique feature of this painting is the space will not be live empty entirely in this painting. That is uh, wherever space is available they will put some kind of symbol or uh, natural object in this painting. <coughs> some of the major painting uh, of uh, Madhubani school of painting is Jagad Mata Devi painting, Bhava Devi painting, Bharati Dayal painting, Ganga Devi painting, etc. So next folk painting is the Pata Chitra painting. It is normally prevalent in Odisha region. It is inspired from Jagannath and Vaishnava cult. And painter who are making this painting is called a Chitrakara. It is mix of both folk and classical painting. And base is the uh, cloth and natural colors has been used in this painting. Next one is the Patuk painting, uh, art of painting, which is prevalent surrounding the Bang Bengal region. And this in this painting, the storytelling has been done through a painting. And both Hinduism and Muslim people use this uh, this painting. N the next uh, important painting, folk painting, is. Paitkar painting is famous surrounding Jharkhand region and it is one of the tribal paintings used by a tribal group named Ma Mansa tribal and common okay next one is the uh, Kalam, Kalamkari painting which is prevalent in Andhra Pradesh region Kalamkari means uh, Kalam means pen and Kari means uh, craftsmanship uh, in this and this kind of painting is made on the cotton fabric and vegeta uh, vegetable dyes has been used in this painting along with the bamboo tree and this kind of painting is prevalent during Vijayanagara empire period and next important um, uh, category of painting is a wali painting is prevalent do, uh, in surrounding Gujarat Maharashtra region it is one of the ancient style of painting evidented um, uh, 3000 before century and it is a also a ritualistic painting hunting farming dancing animals trees festivals are major themes of this painting uh, uh, some symbols such as triangle rectangle square also has been used in wali uh, painting school uh, the one of the major unique feature of this painting is this painting is made uh, made on uh, the wall on that 
soil or cow dug has been um, used to plaster the wall and above that uh, gum or rice powder has been used as a pigment to the, do the painting in this painting only white color has been used next one is the tanka school of painting which is prevalent around sikkim himachal pradesh ladakh and arunachal region it is belongs to buddhism religion and made on the cotton canvas the the uh, in this painting all colors has been used and each color has some unique some indication such as red color uh, indicate passion white color indicates serenity black indicate anger and green in represents consciousness the next important uh, fall painting is manjusha school of painting it is also called uh, called as angika art of painting it is uh, famous surrounding the bagalpur district of bihar uh, this painting belongs to one of the mahajanapada tribal groups uh, that is anga mahajanapada and snakes has been uh, using of snake uh, is prevalent in this kind of painting uh, one more important feature of this painting is that this painting is made on the boxes of jute and paper next some of the important uh, folk painting is shad painting founded in rajasthan charial scroll painting in telangana pithora painting in gujarat and saura painting in odisha that's it thank you